welcome to the defense tech channel today we are going to talk about all the bad, main battle tanks of the indian army in, so in that the first we have the arjun the arjun is an indian third generation main battle tank developed by the combat vehicle research and development establishment cvrde and of the defense research and development organization drdo of the indian army The tank is named after Arjun the Archer Prince who is the main protagonist of the Indian epic Mahabharat armed with a 120 mm rifled gun the Arjun is capable of firing APF SDS kinetic energy penetrator rounds HE HEAT high explosive squash heads that is HESH penetration cum blast PCB rounds thermobaric rounds at the rate of 6 to 8 rounds per minute the arjun can also fire the israeli developed semi active laser guided gun launch lahat missile which is designed to defeat both enemy armor and enemy combat helicopters in addition arjun is armed with 12.7 mm aa machine gun and a 7.62 mm coaxial machine gun the arjun can carry 39 rounds in special blast proof canisters with blow out panel The Arjun uses a manual loader and has a crew man to reload the gun. Next we have the T72. The T72, the T72 is a family of Soviet or Russian main battle tanks that first entered production in 1971. About 20,000 T72 tanks have been built and refurbished has been enabled mainly many to remain in service for decades the t72a version introduced in 1979 is considered as a second generation main battle tank it was widely exported and saw service in 40 countries and in numerous conflicts the t72b3 version introduced in 2010 is a considered a third generation main battle tank the t72 has a nuclear biological and a chemical protection system The inside of both hull and turret is lined with a synthetic fabric fabric made of boron compound meant to reduce the penet- penetrating radiation from neutron bo- neutron bomb explosions. The crew is supplied clean air via an air filter system. A slight overpressure prevents entry of contamination via bearings and joints. Use of an auto loader from the main gun allows for more efficient force smoke removal compared to traditionally traditional manually loaded tank guns. So NBC isolation of the fighting compartment can in theory be maintained indefinitely. Exported T72s do not have anti radiation lining. Next we have the T90. The T90 is a third generation Russian main Russian main battle tank that entered service in 1993. The tank is a modern variation of the T72B and incorporates many features found on the T80U. Originally called the T72BU but later renamed to T90. It is an advanced tank in service with the Russian ground forces and the naval infantry. The T90 uses a 125 mm 2A46 smooth bore main gun, the IA45T fire control system, an upgraded engine and gunner's thermal sight. Standard protective measures include a blunt of steel and composite armor, smoke grenade discharges, contact fire explosive re- reactive armor and a Shotara infrared ATGM jamming systems it was designed and built by Ural 1 Gon Zavod in Russia the T90's main armament is the TA46M125M smooth bore tank gun this is a highly modified version of the Sprott anti tank gun and is the same gun used as the main armament on the T80 series it can be replaced without dismantling the inner turret and is capable of fire armor uh, arm firing armor piercing fine stabilized discarded sub apf sds high explosive anti tank and the high explosive fragmentation ammunition as well as 9m 119m reflectex and anti tank guided missile the reflectex missile has a semi automatic laser beam riding guidance and a tandem hollow charge xt80 warhead It has an effective range of 100 to 100 meter to 6 kilometer and takes 17.5 seconds to reach maximum range. Reflectex can penetrate about 95 950 mm of steel armor and can also engage low lying air targets such as helicopters. We have the Tanky X. 
the tank ex or mbtex was the code name of the main battle tank developed by the indian defense research and development organization drdo in 2002 it was rumored the tank will be called karna after one of the heroes of the indian epic the mahabharata tank ex was developed as a second attempt after the development of the ajaya by drdo in order to capitalize on the technology developed for the for that project It underwent six months of trial, but was subsequently rejected by the Indian Army. Total eight tanky X prototypes were built. The next we have the Vijayanta. The Vijayanta was a main battle tank built in India based on a licensed design of the Vickers Mark I. The Vijayanta was the first indigenous tank of the Indian Army. The prototype was completed in 1963. The tank entered service on December 29, 1965. The first 90 vehicles. were built by Vickers in the UK. Production continued at a heavy vehicles factory in Awadi until 1983, with 2,200 being built. So friends, this was all the information about the tanks that are owned by the Indian Army and the tanks that are used by the Indian Army and the armed forces. So hope you like the video. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and also press the subscribe icon if you like. If you want any updates related to my channel. So thanks for watching this video till then bye bye take care